The CDC released its latest update on the flu outbreak on Friday. They have some good news and they have some bad news. Shelby Lynn has more on the latest findings. In its latest advisory, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says 47 states are now reporting widespread flu activity. That's up from 41 states in the last advisory. Part of the severity of a flu season depends on what strains circulate. Some are worse than others. Part depends on how many get, get vaccinated. We have had a lot more people vaccinated in the last few years, but still fewer than half of Americans get vaccinated each year. We'd like to change that. One mother thought twice about vaccinating her two-year-old daughter. I really thought about it and between the odds of her um, having a bad reaction versus catching the flu, I felt like the flu and having her down and out and possibly um, risking her health um, for her life wasn't worth it. The CDC says it hears concerns like these every year, but whether it's the injection or the nasal spray, flu vaccines are indeed very safe. Hundreds of millions of doses are given each year, and, and we've given it for 70 years. We know a lot about the safety of these vaccines, and they're really safe. Experts say it will be weeks before they know if flu season has peaked, but there still may be some good news on the horizon. The latest CDC activity map lists several states that have seen a drop in flu levels, particularly in southeastern states like Georgia, Florida, and South Carolina. And only 24 states were reporting high levels of flu activity down from 29 states the previous week. I'm Shelby Lynn reporting.